movie and day. Still doing laundry to the very end. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's moving day. We've lived in New York now for several years. We've loved the city. We've loved and hated it at times. <laughs> it's just weird to think that we're actually leaving. We've been planning like, oh, we're gonna move to California. We're gonna move here. We're gonna move there. But today's the actual day. All packed up, kind of. Still got the beard. Still got the beard. Oh my goodness. Wow. It's a mess in here. Mm. Are you sad? A little bit. Aww. <laughs> Echo. It's echoey in here, Bart. There's nothing to absorb the sound, Bart says. Bye, beautiful New York City view. Mm, and like my best friend lives in that building right across the street. Mm. <laughs> you guys, are, do you guys get sad when you move? Like when you move cities or when you move homes? Like it's exciting, but it's also so sad. We've been here for so many years. Like in New York, we love the city. What'd you say? You don't have a home, but you can't stay here. <laughs> Oh man, this is getting up the dust bunnies. This is done. Done. Guys, guys, empty condo tour. <laughs> Officially moved and we are in. Dun dun dun. -dun. Washington, D.C. We're in Washington, D.C. We didn't end up moving to California. Just, ha. Uh, yeah, the virus has affected so many people on so many different levels. It definitely affected us. We weren't able to move to California, but instead, Bart accepted a job and we have moved and purchased this condo and we are in D.C. So no furniture. Yet, we are still waiting on the movers, but look, the cable guy came without the TV. We have internet, we've got, we've got rugs that I ordered off West Elm and then Amazon, so kind of a more expensive one and a budget-friendly one, and we'll see how those work out. We bought a plant already. I saw that and I was like, that kind of looks like a palm tree, like very like California-y. So we picked that up, Bart's already working and this is one of the bedrooms I have my flight attendant luggage it's actually like five o'clock right now and today is Tuesday it's five o'clock on a Tuesday and the movers are actually coming between five and seven so it's so random this condo that we got is two bedrooms two baths so it's a little bit bigger than our New York apartment definitely the view the view is more like a street view. So you guys can see the little houses. They're so cute. They're all these like little row homes. It's gonna be interesting, guys. I, can't, I don't think I'll be, I'll do like a full condo tour for you guys just yet. We got rid of so much furniture in New York that had been, you know, just with us for so long that was kind of damaged. And so we're in the process of ordering all new furniture. We don't even have bed frames. We <laughs> do not, we had to get rid of our bed frame because it was like from Ikea, like probably about like five years old and it had moved with us like four times. So we got rid of that. And we're actually finally able to upgrade to a king bed, king size bed because this is so big. This is huge, you guys. I don't know if you can tell. You can't, you can't tell to scale yet because there's no furniture in there, but it's really big. Super excited. It's 638. Movers just got here. I feel like I've never done a move where the movers come at night. Is this like a normal thing? Have you guys like ever done that? I feel like this is really odd. It's happening. The unpacking is going to commence. 
tomorrow though. It's, this is, this is already, I mean, this looks really organized right now, but it's gonna get crazy. And what time is it? 7.22. Been unpacking for like a week straight. Whole condo over here was just like filled with boxes. We've got a lot of furniture coming this weekend, so that's exciting. We're getting a new, like bigger table. I'm trying to get a good shot for you guys. So this is our table that we've had this table for like three years. We got this table when we had our studio apartment in New York City. I ordered a big table here from CB2 that's actually gonna be delivered tomorrow. So I'll show you guys that when it gets here. Franny loves being able to look outside. Uh, just got this like cute little thing here for like the entryway. This is from Target, you guys. And this was like $125. And it's like the perfect size here so we can put our keys and stuff when we walk in so this is the guest bedroom here i don't think i showed you guys this room but <laughs> this is like the overflow of stuff that we have so much of this stuff has to go to storage unfortunately dc is a lot like new york city and there's just not a lot of storage in these like small like narrow row houses Oh my gosh, you guys, my allergies in DC are so bad. Do you see my eyes? They have been red and my nose has been like itchy ever since we've got here and I like can't stop sneezing. Yeah, we got a converted row home. So it's like a long and narrow home, but there isn't a lot of like storage space. So with all of this that we have here, we actually have to get a, um, a storage unit so we're gonna go actually we're gonna go tomorrow to get a storage unit because I told Bart I'm like I I can't I can't look in that room it's so out of control but this is cool we actually have like a full-size refrigerator we haven't had that in so long we've got this big stove I don't, we don't we don't even like know what to make on it it's, and look there's five burners it's awesome oh I've literally been on hold for 53 minutes with World Market. I ordered these glasses and this one came broken. So I was like, I just need one replacement. It's a long, long time on hold. Okay, so Franny is gonna get a little room here. I'm probably gonna hang some pictures here and like his little mirror from, I don't even know if you guys remember his room from our studio apartment. Uh, I was gonna get a new one of these like TV cadenzas, but we actually set it up here and it looks fine. It doesn't look, it actually looks like it really fits. We got a new plant. We had to leave, had to leave our plants in New York. The moving company would not transport our plants. And so we gifted them to our neighbors and friends. But I'm like, do you know how long it took me to grow? There was this snake plant, the ones that go straight up. We had had it for three years and I had loved it and watered it and nurtured it and I had to let it go. So we got that new plant, we got that one, and then we have the one in the other room that we don't have a spot for yet. Green chair made it. I wasn't sure about it. I wasn't sure the color was gonna stay. We are waiting on a new coffee table. I ordered these little tables but they look a little small like when you sit here it's a long way to put a glass or something down they're really cute though they were fairly inexpensive and we got them from all modern i cannot believe we packed this lamp i told bart there's no way that lamp is gonna make it in one piece and it totally did and we've also had that lamp since um since our studio apartment. <laughs> okay, this is our bedroom right now. You guys, this is a mess right now. We don't have a bed frame and this is our queen mattress. So we actually have a bed frame and a king mattress coming tomorrow. So we're gonna move this out of here and we're gonna put that bed is eventually gonna go, that mattress is gonna go in the guest bedroom down there. And I ordered a new queen bed, but it's on back order, so it's not gonna be here for a while. 
So this is our home. This is our new little home. It's it's so exciting. We've been renting in New York for so long and the rents were outrageous in New York City. Just outrageous. I mean, you guys know, last year they tried to raise our rent by $500. This year they want to raise our rent by $700. And we were just like, you know what? Enough is enough. Like we're just, we're not gonna pay that. We're not gonna do that. So we saved all last year and we saved enough for a down payment. So we actually own this home. This is ours. We own it. Every time we pay rent or our mortgage, like it's to us. So, so nobody's gonna raise our rent next year. It's on us. If we wanna pay a little bit more, we can on our mortgage, but we're not getting these crazy increases in rent. I've been having a lot of fun ordering some furniture. A few pieces of furniture are coming tomorrow, so I will show you guys that tomorrow, and then I'll end the vlog. But I wanna show you guys those pieces because they're really cute. This is so exciting. Wow, this looks great. It's a great color. So we got this bed frame from West Elm and the mattress here is from Tempur-Pedic. So Bart's had this other Tempur-Pedic bed for literally like 10 years and it is the best bed I've ever slept on. Franny, you love the new bed? You're not really supposed to be on it until we put some sheets, but okay. <laughs> here is the coffee table that I ordered from CV2. I'm gonna be so honest. I'm gonna be honest, guys. It's a little short compared to the couch. Not sure we'll keep it. Another mistake. Love this table. Also got it from CB2. Really cool like hairpin legs here, but too big. It's gonna have to go back also. Womp, womp, womp. Perfect. <laughs> All right guys, so the next day another another shirt hair has been in a business fun for probably the last two weeks straight I have not taken it out of this business bun because I'm I'm doing business right now I'm moving the delivery guy barely closed the door before I was like on the phone with CB2 like no that coffee table's not gonna work and that dining table way too big I got the 80 inch dining table and I needed to get the 53 inch dining table so I switched it, so they're bringing that one and taking this one away. <laughs> it's really hard to shop for furniture online. It's hard to get the exact measurements. I mean, it's just hard to visualize seeing the stuff in the spaces. Like, I didn't realize that table was gonna be so ridiculously big. But if you guys have any design tips for me, please let me know. Design tips for small spaces. This is bigger than our old place, but it still is small. So I'm still trying to be creative with where, with what pieces to get that kind of act as storage, but also give us a sense of like openness. <laughs> like two, two of the most like opposite things. <laughs> I'm just so glad that we're finally in this house. It's been such an emotional roller coaster. This move has taken about a month, you guys. If you follow me on Instagram, I did post on my Instagram stories the actual day that I was leaving New York and I posted like leaving and I showed the empty apartment and I got so many private messages from you guys. So I tried to read and respond to as many of those as I could. That was almost a month ago. So we it we moved out of New York and then we left New York and went to California for about two weeks while we finished closing on this house. And I worked a few trips out of LAX and then we flew to DC and we stayed in a hotel for about two weeks to finish closing on the house and wait for the movers. So it's been about a month process. We're just so happy we're finally here and we have our little house and we can enjoy it and call it our own. So let, so let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you have any of those like design tips for small spaces, okay? I'm gonna, I, I really need some help here. Bye guys.